Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Back in 1999, a company by the name of Clinique, you might have heard of, a very large company, 99% of what they produce is for women. However, back in 94, they did release a men's fragrance called Chemistry. It did fairly well. In 1997, Clinique released Happy for Women. And then two years later, because that did so well, they released the men's version of Happy called Happy for Men by Clinique. It went on to be extremely successful, and yet that was 21 years ago. So in today's world of modernized, energetic, and unique designer fragrances, does Happy still stand on its own as a classic man's fragrance? Or do we just have some nostalgic memories associated with it and therefore we think it's good? That's the question we aim to answer in this review today. So when we return, we'll take a look at that and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys. I don't know if your experience with Clinique Happy for Men will be similar to mine or completely different, but I think the reason that it flew under my radar, back in the day I knew so many women that wore Happy and it was such a common fragrance for women, it's super popular and I was so familiar with the way that it smelled that I avoided it and yet here we are, it's 21 years later, it's a classic clean fragrance for men, at least what I've heard, but I wanna try it out for the first time today. So you may have tried it many, many years ago. For me, it's gonna be a first. And it's kind of unique, because usually I've got some experience with older or classic fragrances out there along the, the many years that they've been on the market. So I thought I would go ahead and do a quick unboxing and then we'll take a look at that juice. So let's check out that presentation. Well, that's pretty much it for Clinique's presentation. There are a few things about it that's kind of classic, like the lid is that classic silver and orange. Those That's never changed through the years. It's always been the same. The lid itself is very, very cheap. It's, it's very light. The atomizer kind of looks cheap. It's kind of cool though that you've got a little bit of an, the orange uh, reticule in it there. And I don't know how you feel about the color orange, but I live in Tennessee. Go big orange, it's everywhere. Orange is literally everywhere you look. The bottle is okay. It's not bad looking. There's nothing about it that stands out. Now before we get into the juice, let's do a really quick pyramid breakdown of what is actually in this little bottle here. Now I did decide to try the, the 50 ml bottle, but of course it also comes in 100 ml as well. Clinique Happy for Men has in the top kefir lime. It's got calamansi fruit. It has some aquatic or marine notes in there and you guessed it finally big orange go orange so we've got some man mandarin orange so lots of citrus lots of fruit going down into the heart accords we have a bouquet of freesia we've got lily of the valley a little bit of rose and some jasmine and finally resting on a base of guyac wood musk cedar wood and mediterranean cypress let's go ahead and try some out on that strip I can see why this is so popular. Okay, first of all, as soon as the gates open, you've got this big fat orange rolling down the track towards the finish line. There is a lot of orange in this. So the first thing that I picked up is, is Mandarin orange. The second thing I'm picking up, believe it or not, is some aquatic. So it does have a, a little bit of a marine. And the way that you feel marine is, marine is almost like a briny salty. So it warms the nose a little bit. You definitely get some that cypress and that cedar wood and it's got that green. So the calamansi fruit, which is a native uh, fruit to the Philippines. The scent itself, however, is very refreshing and clean. A lot of people smell it and they say that, that it makes them feel light, makes them feel good, it's, it de-stresses you and it's refreshing. And so it's adding a very clean component to happy. And actually it's appropriately named. This is a feel-good fragrance. It's the epitome of a feel-good fragrance aka happy. I'm gonna go ahead and switch mediums and change to skin. 
you can actually buy that orange oil in the form of a cleaning product called Citrusol. I've talked about it on my channel before because I've used it for many years and it's really good stuff. It smells wonderful. It smells very, very orange. And this kind of reminds me of the, the rind, only with the added calamansi like bright clean, like a t-shirt. This reminds me of like a t-shirt fragrance. Open your drawer, you pull out a clean tea. It's almost like a glove, you know, and something fits really good. It makes you feel better. It gives you energy, it makes you feel confident. It's kind of like where this is going. I do like it from that standpoint. And I can see why sales for this for 21 years have been very steady. <laughs> Clinique Cappy for Men is still being produced 21 years later. So. There's a reason for that. There's something to be said about that. However, I have heard things about the performance that even though this smells wonderful, the performance is, is often fairly poor. Even with the few minutes that have gone by since I sprayed it on my skin, it is pulling back a little bit. I'm going to guess that some of the issues with this fragrance are that the orange is jealous and it wants to take center stage. So while you do have a bouquet in there, in fact, have you noticed a consistent pattern in the notes? You've got a lot of white in your florals. You've got a freesia, which is typically in female fragrances, kind of gives this a little bit of a unisex vibe, not anything to write home about, but just a, just a tad there. Lily of the Valley, which actually is a white flower. And then you've got, of course, Jasmine, which is a white flower as well. So that's not a coincidence. That was definitely done on purpose. And when you think of white, again, a white t-shirt, you think of a clean slate, a fresh new beginning. So that's actually, I think, at the heart of Clinique Happy and why so many people like it, because it literally is just a feel-good fragrance. I can imagine this lasting about a good five to six hours, potentially seven hours, stretching it a little bit. I can see that happening. Orange just doesn't go away. I mean, it's an essential oil, so it's gonna be on your skin for a while, but on your skin right? It doesn't project a ton. If there's something a little bit deeper and darker and more complex in here that could actually give it kind of an effervescent or an ebullience that it doesn't naturally have, that would add to the projection. But as it stands, there's nothing like that in Clinique Happy for Men. As I'm smelling this, what's happening is some of those floral notes in there are making a very brief appearance. It's almost like the weave in a fabric going in and out. So I get a little bit of a hint of this, a little nuance of that, but by and large, the orange literally wants to take center stage. So this is a very, like if you like orange fragrances, and if you like the smell of orange or the smell of a uh, orange rind when you crush it up and smell it, you'll love Clinique Happy for Men. So it's orange subsidized by some green, so and it's got some warmth in your nose due to the aquatic or marine notes in here as well. So in a nutshell, great, clean spring and summer, primarily spring and summer. This of course can be worn year round. It's hyper versatile, just like most blue fragrances are, can be worn anytime, can be a signature scent. But don't expect a ton of people to give you compliments on this unless they're kind of close to you or unless you're creating just this rapid sillage trail that they can pick up on really quickly and really easily. I don't feel like this is going to be a banger in terms of projection. I do feel like it's going to be good to average in its longevity going by what kind of I've read about it, what I've seen, what I've experienced so far. Uh, I feel like that's probably going to be a pretty accurate guess. I'll give you a full rundown with a review in the future, but for now, we're gonna go with good to average on the longevity. For usage, absolutely great day and nighttime casual wear fragrance. As a signature fragrance, you can dress it up if you want to, but this is gonna be a lot more at home, just like you will be in a t-shirt and jeans. You can get this 50 ml bottle for right around 15 to 20 bucks, and of course, go to the 100 ml bottle, you're gonna get the best deal at around $31. I can see why it's a classic men's fragrance, even after all these years, 21 years on the market. But does it meet our growing standard of performance that we're all looking for in a men's fragrance? Not really, not really. It's a wonderful scent, but the performance is considered poor in some areas and average in others. The decision is yours whether you want to add it to your rotation, but I think it would be a nice addition insofar as the smell. Very clean, very refreshing, and if you're a lover of orange, then there's no question about it because 
you'll really enjoy Clinique Happy for Men. I will leave a link in the description below as to where I got mine, which is Fragrance X. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me today. Please let me know what your experience with this fragrance is in the comments below. Always appreciate you sharing those. Make sure to stop by tomorrow or hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of new content as I drop it. Tomorrow's gonna to be an exciting video. You requested it, so I put it together. I'm gonna to give you 10 more of my favorite cheap fragrances that smell really expensive. So make sure to tune into that tomorrow. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.